Hey guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. If you've never seen me before, my name is Dylan and welcome to my channel, which is geared towards helping you improve your craft in filmmaking, video editing, and just creating in general. Something that isn't really asked of editors as much as it should be is what their process is like in the editing room. Having an editing process that fits to you in your style as well as one that allows you to complete projects quickly is extremely important. Over the years, I've developed my own set of routines after I upload all of my footage to Final Cut Pro. And as of right now, it seems to work pretty well for me but obviously I will need to improve this process more I'm never done learning but uh, as of right now it works and I was hoping that I could share some of what I am doing with you guys to help you in the editing room so after you upload your footage to Final Cut Pro or whatever editing software you're using it is so important to get acquainted with all the footage that you have before I get started let me know what editing software you guys are using I use Final Cut Pro but I have friends that swear by DaVinci Resolve and Premiere so I would love to get your guys as feedback. So back to it, reviewing footage is tedious but it is essential. So the first thing I will do after uploading is run through my footage three to four times. The nice thing about Final Cut Pro is you can scrub through each shot real quickly so you know what's in it. Keep in mind the angles of your shots, the direction and motion of your camera, as well as lighting and what the shot is comprised of. These run throughs are so you fully know what you have as footage and also it is uh, the time that you will label and name your footage which you can do by by just pressing enter and then typing in what you want. Usually I will name my clips based on obviously what the shot is and then I'll also name it based on the motion of my camera in the shot. So for example here I have jib train workers shot good. Sometimes I'll label if the shot is good or bad or great and that way it's easier to find it. After you run through these three or four times then you'll keyword all your footage. So keywording basically will make it easier for you to access the shot you want based on the keywords you choose so what you would do is you go through your shots and say I have this wide train worker shot uh, which is a little slide I would press command K and that'll bring up your keyword lister and then from here you can type in really whatever you want so you can type in slide you could type in uh, people you could type in working with this Sri Lanka project I had different keywords like animals animals eating I had uh, cultural dance motion nature people portrait and then I also included things like climax to where I uh, knew I wanted these shots for when the music was building and things were getting a little bit more intense it'll just make it easier for you to complete the project really because then you can just go into each of these folders and find the keywords that have these specific clips also you can include more than one keyword for each clip that way it's more specified and you can find exactly what you're looking for after you've keyworded and labeled all your footage then think about your story and the theme of the project and basically the point you're trying to get across with it while you're doing this envision all the footage that you went through three to four times in your head and think about how you could arrange these clips to fit the narrative if you're having trouble with this then start small and say think about the beginning of your project as well as the end of your project and think about what clips would fit that well for example with this Sri Lanka project I knew I wanted to have the film start with water and end with water because Sri Lanka is an island so that's what I did I had shots underwater then it was brought up to the fishing vessel and near the end I had shots of the fishermen's on the stilts and then it went back to an underwater scene take the project in sections and that'll make it easier to edit so from here find clips that match each other according to composition motion sound light and color and this will make it easier for your film to flow sometimes when I edit I will not bother with sound design or color grading until I place all of my footage as a rough draft but other times since I love sound design and color grading so much I'll do it as I go so as I place the footage and decide where to put it then I will include these sound effects and the color grading as well but uh, just know that if you do do it this way it'll feel like your project is taking a lot longer oftentimes I'll spend a full day on one section that takes about 10 seconds on playback after you've laid all your footage down and added sound design and color grading you can add some finishing touches like sharpening or vignetting to draw the viewers attention or blur to help with better looking motion a really helpful tip is to remember to take a break on your project if you are consistently editing day after day after day the project will not end up looking the same or it won't end up maybe in the direction that you're heading so 
If you take a break, and oftentimes I find this, if I take a break and then I come back to the project, I see mistakes that I have made and I see ways to improve the project. And I really just, it uh, brings me back on track. Final tip is to get some feedback from people, whether that be your friends, family, or even uploading your draft to Vimeo and then getting feedback from people there. I know it's not easy to get honestly critiqued, but seriously encourage them to be blunt and truthful. Uh, you'll never improve if you don't get feedback from people. Now definitely take every critique with a grain of salt, but if that idea did pop up into your head while you're editing, and then maybe more than one person brings that up, then consider changing it. And that's it guys. This video is an important one to me, and I hope it gave you some ideas or insight. Consider pressing the thumbs up button if it did help, and subscribing if you're dedicated to improving. Now get out there and go create.